it may finally be happening. Final Cut Pro sounds like it's coming to the iPad. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I am sorry about the voice situation. It's a little cracky today. I'm not feeling my best, but I had to get on here and record this because I am too excited. A new rumor is floating around that says we finally may see Final Cut Pro on Apple's highest end tablet. So join me, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know, when we're gonna see it, what features are gonna be there, everything else in this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is a big deal, folks. I mean, I feel like Apple's been putting the pieces together for this for a long time. We have every ingredient we need to make Final Cut successful on the iPad. We have USB-C and Thunderbolt, which allows for external storage and card readers to import and process store media. We have the actual iPad display, which can be used as a reference monitor on the 12.9 inch version. There's external monitor support, so you can use two displays at the same time. We have the um, Bluetooth mouse and keyboard support, so you can work on these things, uh, not using the touch screen if you don't want to. Basically all these parts that we've needed, uh, not to mention the M series chips, M1 and M2 in these iPad Pros, the same ones that are on the Mac are on the iPad. So why don't we have Final Cut Pro? Well, sounds like that is being resolved. So a relatively new leaker has been on Twitter, uh, kind of talking about some different rumors, and they've gotten a few of these things right recently, which has possibly emboldened them to share this quite early, at least in their opinion. Um, and that is Apple is planning to release Final Cut Pro on iPad OS in 2024. No other specific time frame, just sometime in 2024. And then in 2025, we're going to see Logic come to the iPad. So Logic and Final Cut making their way to the iPad uh, in 2024 for Final Cut, 2025 for Logic. Huge deal here. And what's also important is they claim feature parity with Mac OS. Feature parity. Everything you can do on the Mac, you'll be able to do on your iPad. This is insane. Every part of that is incredible. Now, for a while, there have been different things on iPad that work, um, like LumaFusion is an excellent tool. But for me, as a content creator, I just I, I yearn for the day where I can sit here in my studio, edit something on my Mac, copy it quickly to an external drive, plug it into my iPad while I'm on the go, and continue editing. That's the dream. Not moving between different applications, not having to edit in LumaFusion on my tablet and Final Cut on my Mac, or moving to iMovie on my iPad. Like, I don't want to do any of that stuff. I need Final Cut on both of my devices, and it sounds like Apple's going to deliver. Aside from feature parity, they also claim that there's only going to be a few changes to Final Cut, which is going to be optimizing the interface for touch interfaces. So maybe we could see an updated version of Final Cut before that that starts to make some of these tweaks, or Apple's just saving up for an entirely new version of Final Cut keeps the existing features with a new interface and hopefully some even more new features that we're gonna see for Mac and iPad when this releases in 2024. Color me excited, folks, because this is a huge deal. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Would you pick up Final Cut Pro for iPad? Is this something you've been looking for? Let me know in the comments or check out in the next video.